All right, guys, so we're going to look at Octane Blender's Denoiser. Let's get straight into it. All right, I got a quick little scene here set up. And basically what I want to do is figure out how to use the Octane Denoiser. Um, I figured it out, but I'm not actually sure if it even works on my GPU. Now, one thing I know, make sure your GPU drivers are updated and make sure that you're using the latest version of Octane, of course, which you always want to be doing. Right now, I'm using 27.17, which is whatever they have available at the moment. First thing first, a lot of people come in here. Let me kill the camera. A lot of people will come in here. They will fire up their render. And then you immediately will come in here. And if you notice, if you hit in, you can bring over the Octane Camera tab. I have the Octane Camera Imager active and I also have Override. So that means I use everything in this panel here. What I'm going to do is scroll down and here you can see it says Denoiser. And then most people will just click on that and then boom, it says waiting for image and then nothing looks like it's changed. It's pretty much the same. Now, what I did learn is what you're going to need to do in order to get that to work, you're going to need to actually turn on the de-rendering pass. OK, so what we'll do is we'll come in here over to our view layers and then in the view layers here down here at the bottom, you'll see I have the let me go ahead and make this a little bit bigger. We have the render AOV node graph. Here's my render AOV node graph. Now you could use classic or you could use the new version. I'll show you both. If you go to classic right here, it won't be that on default. It will be switched to combine. So what you need to do is preview pass type. You need to turn this to denoiser beauty. Once you do that, technically you can come in here now and make sure the denoiser is checked. And if we also scroll this open here, it says denoise on completion. So it's going to render out. Let me see how many samples I have. I have 100 samples. So after 100 samples, the denoiser will kick in. OK, so let's go ahead and try that. All right. So I can clearly see here samples reach 100 out of 100. And to me, it clearly does not look like there is any type of denoising action happening. I can see a lot of noise here. So what's the deal, right? So again, if I, I what I've learned here now, if you click denoise and we turn this off for some reason, I think it may not be working with my GPU. I have a 1050 Ti. I have a fairly old GPU. I don't know. Maybe my drivers are not up to date. I thought they are, but I don't know exactly why it's not working. One thing you can check and if it does work for you, that is how you do it. But let's check this denoising on comp completion. If we turn that off and let me turn this off again. Now here we says minimal denoising samples, maximum denoiser interview interval. So what this basically means, the minimum samples that it's going to take for the denoiser to kick in after 10 samples, it's going to kick in in between 20 samples. So in between 10 to 20, where the denoiser act will theoretically will kick in and start to work its magic. I guess we can change this number. So if you go to one, let's say one to one, theoretically one to one means it should just kick on right when I start rendering. Now, I do notice something when I do one to one. If you notice, my sample count is just frozen here on one. So to me, that indicates that it is maybe trying to initiate it in the background or it's trying to activate it or it doesn't work. This is where it should be kicking in. I've seen other videos where people have changed this sample and like after about four or five samples, it will literally denoise. It will clean everything up and they will have a nice clean image. But that does not seem to be working on my system. You may want to try this out. I still want to put the information out there because it may work on newer updated GPUs. My system is a little bit dated, but that doesn't stop me from learning and from, you know, experimenting. All right, so this time we're going to activate the AOV. So I'm going to go ahead and kill the kernel here. And then what I'm going to do is I'll actually make sure I'm view layer if I wasn't in the right spot. View here, classic renders. We're going to change this to render AOVs. Here, there's nothing selected, but here is AOF AOVs. We'll go ahead and load that. And if, if there's nothing selected here and there's and you click it and there's nothing to select, you'll need to come into, for example, let's go to compositing and I'm going to change it to Octane Render AOVs. And then typically in here, this is where we will, you can just drop in a quick tree. Okay, Octane AOVs. And then boom, here it is. Beauty, if we click here, Denoising Beauty. I want to see the Denoising Beauty pass. Again, this is the preview, select this here, preview render pass. This is what the preview is going to show. And I want it to show denoising beauty. OK, so I, all of this stuff, I just leave it as stock. I don't think it should affect it. And it is select to active. OK, 
Now we come back to our view layers. There's nothing here. We need to make sure this says Octane AOVs. Here we're going to scroll down and then we're going to select FO AOVs and let's fire up the render. We do have the denoiser selected. We have one out of 30. Denoise on completion is turned off. Again, blending mode is set to zero, means I want to see 100% of the denoise image. And let's render. So between one and 30 frames, theoretically, the denoiser should kick in. I'm at 16 frames, 32. And already I don't see any denoising happening, even using the AOV setup here. Here we're already at 64 frames. So I honestly think my GPU is just not because it doesn't have RTX on it or any of that. I think my GPU is too old to actually utilize the denoiser, but I'm not sure. Now my work away, my workaround around this, what I do is just I don't even fiddle with this because also this cranks up my render times like it takes a lot longer to matter of fact let me just render out a frame just one right now with the settings we have just so we can see if there is even a de if it's denoise in the past maybe it just might not be showing up but let's find out all right guys i had to stop it i just i had a hundred samples right and right now it's already taken eight minutes and it was only at 12 percent using the octane denoiser so for my card 1050 Ti, it might not work. Maybe if you have an RTX card, it may work, but I'm not waiting eight minutes for a hundred samples where I've no, I've rendered animations at 50 samples and it takes less time than this, right? So that lets me know it's either broken on my system or I'm not doing something right or I'm not setting something up, but I'm not gonna do, deal with this stress where I already have a workaround for this. For this, so what I basically do is I just use the optics denoiser turn off octane denoiser turn it off please don't crash please don't crash i come up in here to compositing let's go back to our normal composite setup here and what i always do in my default setting for those of you who downloaded my default scene you guys will see that i have these two nodes here because one one of them is the the denoiser that comes with blender right and then i have my lens distortion whatever i would just use this like i'm not gonna waste my time and what I do is recently I want to mix them, right? So let me quickly just go ahead and set this back up how I normally had it. This is my normal setup. I just use the standard denoiser that comes with uh, Blender. And what I typically do, oh, there's the image kicking in in the background. And even there, you can clearly see it already denoised this quite fine. If we press, well, I think it was Alt Backspace, Alt Home. Yeah, Alt plus Home resizes that up. And there it is, it cleaned it up a lot just using the standard, you know, denoiser. But sometimes I don't like, especially when I'm doing animation, it's too much and it's like, we lost a lot of detail. So what I like to do is now my new setup here is, I basically come in here, Shift A, S, add a mix node, and in the mix, oh, come on, Octane. Okay, so we're gonna have to just search for it normally. I'm gonna come in here and go to denoiser, wherever the hell that is, I mean, mix node. I come in here to color, I'll grab a mix node and I'll just drop that mix node right here at the end of the chain. And then I'll just take my normal image out, right? And then drop that in here. Okay, boom. Now what I'll do is I'll just do a mixture. I will control it and use this to say like, okay, I wanna do a 50% mix of the denoiser and the original image, let it compile. All right, so there it is. Now we're mixing 50% of the denoise with the original. Now you can clearly see it's a little bit super noisy, right? So I might want to crank a little bit more towards the denoiser settings. So I'm going to go ahead and switch this to fast because it's taking a little bit too long here because I'm screen recording. Now I'm going to set it to 0.3 and let's see what that looks like. Not that much better. That looks okay. But you got to remember this sound, this was only rendered with 12 samples. So it's super noisy. Typically I would never do anything like that. But this is just another workaround on how you can just, you know, use the denoiser. Unfortunately, you can't do it in the, the viewport in real time and all that like you can with cycles. But if that's really a thing for you, just go back to using cycles. Like it's it's not a big deal. It's not a deal cruncher for me. Typically, I run low samples anyways, and I don't really trust anything in my viewport because what I ultimately do, if it looks good in the viewport, I'll render out a quick scene just so I can see what it looks like. I always judge my scene on my render output, not on what it looks like in the viewport. Again, the viewport is just to help us while we're working, right? So I hope this helps a little bit. Let me know down in the comments if you guys got it to work. If you have an RTX card or more modern card updated, does it work? Let me know because I would love to share this out. I'm going to be building up a, a whole big Octane course 
and this will be some good information to pass on to others and again it does not work on my card here i have a 1050 ti uh graphics card nvidia so there it is that's what i've learned sorry guys what i'm going to start doing is trying to pump out more videos the quality is probably going to come down but the quantity is going to come up i want to just start pumping i got so much stuff that i want to share with you guys and i don't want to spend all day editing videos one video where i could have cranked out two videos instead of one so hope you guys enjoyed jump onto the gum row i got plenty of free octane stuff on there and if you're into vfx i got a couple of vfx courses which i'm actually working on another one right now it's rendering once i get off this computer and get back to rendering it catch you guys in the next one keep rendering it's the only way you'll get better peace